Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use Obsidian for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we want to go ahead and download Obsidian first. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and go to google.com or uh, any browser you have right now and go to obsidian.md. Now in their website, you should be able to see the homepage. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to download the .exe file. So in this case, just click on the option that says get Obsidian for Windows. And from here, it's going to redirect you to the download page. Now from here, click on download for Windows. And from here, it's going to start the download process for the .exe file. And once download is complete, what we need to do here is just click on the .exe file to initiate the installation process. So once you click on it, it's going to say, uh, do you want to run this file? Just click on run. And from here, it's going to start installing it. Now, in here, you just need to wait for it to complete, but once it actually installs, you are now ready to use Obsidian. So for now, let's just wait for it to finish, but once it finishes, it, you should be able to see Obsidian in one of the UIs here. Now, in your desktop, you should be able to see an icon for Obsidian. So typically, it's going to be this purple rock here that you usually see. So let's go ahead and click on it, and once you click on it, you should be able to see the main interface for Obsidian. Now in this case, I already have cre I already created a uh, vault before on Obsidian, and as you can see, I was able to uh, view my uh, vault here. So again, if you've uh, previously used Obsidian, it's going to open up what recent vault you use. So in this case, my vault here. But if you're fairly new in using Obsidian, or this is the actually first time that you use Obsidian, uh, well, you have you will have a different uh, UI on it. So in this case, like for example, in your Obsidian here, at the lower left, you should see an option that says open another vault. So in this UI here, what I'm showing you right now, this is what it's going to look like if it's the first time that you're opening Obsidian. Now in this case, what we need to do is we first have to create our vault. So what is a vault? So think of vault as the main or the root. Like this is going to be the main container of the collection of notes that we'll be creating. Now in this case, you have three options here. So we have create new vault, open folder as vault, or open vault from Obsidian Sync. But in this case, we want to go ahead and click on create here, and we want to name our vault. So maybe we want to say this is going to be a sample vault. Just to give you a sample, and we want to browse for a location. So for now, I actually have or created a folder here under my documents that's name Obsidian. So I want to go ahead and go to documents here and choose Obsidian again as my folder. So where, where is it? So this is the folder here. Just click on select folder. And from here, we could go and click on create. Now it's going to create a, create us this vault here and you are now ready to access your vault. Now immediately in here, this is going to be the main interface, again, for Obsidian. So at the left side here, this is going to be the vault name that you have. And under it is going to be the notes that we'll be adding. So there, there's multiple ways for you to add a new uh, file or a note here. So by clicking on Control N on your keyboard, you could go ahead and just create a new note here, which is this case. Now, I also have the option to create a new note by clicking on the new tab here. And from here, you will have the option to either create new file link here, go to file, see recent files, or even close this one if you want to. Now, in this case, you also have the option to, uh, as you can see, we have the new note here. You can go ahead and select that one. And as you can see, it's going to create a new note for us as well. Now, if you want to delete that note, you could go ahead and right click on it and you have the following options. So open a new tab, open to the right, open a new window, rename, make a copy, merge entire file with the following or open default apps or you have the option here that says delete. Now from here, we just need to click on delete to confirm that. And from here, we want to start editing our note. So what are the things that you could do here? 
on Obsidian when you have your notes. Well, uh, first things first, we first have to understand what is Obsidian. So Obsidian is some uh, is a tool or note-taking tool wherein you'll be able to uh, basically make notes and make connections around those notes. So I'll be showing you a result of what we're doing, what we'll be doing later on, so that you'll be able to have a visual representation. Like think of it as a, a way for you to organize your thoughts, your notes in a way wherein you'll be able to correlate uh, different information or knowledge they have or you are written here so that you have like for example if you want to trace it back into a specific note you could go ahead and do that so yeah so uh, in here what we need to do is we need to start editing it so currently our notes here actually use markdown so markdown has a very specific format so uh think of it as if you're familiar with html we have tags but instead of tags we have certain uh, keys here that we want to use like for yourself if you want to have or you want to add a heading here what you need to do is you need to uh, uh add a pound sign here so let's just add a pound sign here so let's just hold on ship shift and just add a tree here and from here you could go ahead and add your text like for example i want to say it is going to be headings and just press on enter now, once we don't, we've done that, you could go ahead. Oh, sorry. This is going to be the title of the note. So just below it is going to be where we're going to be adding it. Like for example, we want to add a name for it first. So I want to say this is going to be note one. And from here, we want to go ahead and start adding our pound sign and headings here. Just press on enter. And as you can see, it's going to be a lot bigger than usual because there's the headings for it. Now, since this is just one pound sign, it's going to be the largest heading size that we have but if you add another heading uh, a pound sign here we can go ahead and just add a headings again but make sure you add a space on it because it's not going to work properly and just press on enter as you can see it's a lot smaller and again if you add three of those pound signs you could go ahead and just uh, add your text and as you can see right now now you also have an option to edit some of the text that I have like for example you want to have it in bold or in italic well you could do that so for example we want to add a new note just to give you an example so we're going to name this as note 2 let's just press on enter and from here we want to go ahead and start adding notes like for example uh, I want to say this is uh, this is a bold text and we want to make this bold so what we need to do here is we need to add two asterisks at the uh, beginning at, and in the end of that text. And when we press on enter, as you can see, it's now in bold. But if you only use one asterisk here, it's going to basically treat this as an italic or in a word in a italic format. Like for example, I wanna say this is in italic. And from here, just press on enter, as you can see. Now, if you want to combine those, what you need to do is add two asterisks and a underscore here and the very end to asterisk again and in between you want to add your uh words like for example this is a word and just press on enter and as you can see those is is a combination of these two now there's going to be a lot of things that you should remember here especially if you're using markdown so there are going to be a lot of resources online that you could use to basically learn markdown if you're not familiar for it uh, on it yet so this is uh, what I refer to constantly so this is markdownguide.org so if you want to learn more about how to use it uh, you could go ahead and visit their website and learn about things uh, on how to use markdown but yeah going back in obsidian so how do we link our notes so first a way that we could link that is we first have to add our uh, enclosing marks so how do we add that so you could go ahead and press on uh, I, I don't I'm not sure what's the name of this specific key here but it's going to be like a bracket in here so we need to add a bracket here and we want to indicate the name of that specific note that we want to link like for example this is note one and we want to note this uh, link this to note two so let's just indicate note two here or you could go and select note two here and just press on enter as you can see we were able to note it now you could go ahead and just start adding anything a one here and uh, and as you can see lorem ipsum and also you could go ahead and add different options or different hashtags in it like for example we want to add a hashtag here like for example uh this i uh, want a hashtag example 
And we also have the option to add this in the node two as well. So let's just add a hashtag sample. Now at the right side here, at the top right, you should be able to see different options. Like for example, an expand tool here, which is the expand is actually the other options. Like for example, the backlinks for node two. So for example, we have node one here. So when we go to node two, it's going to give us this option here, which in this case, node two is actually mentioned and node one, which is really helpful if you want to uh, basically uh, know where uh, things are going through. I also have the option here for outgoing links. So if you go to node one, it's going to give you information that it's actually going to node two. Now we also have the tags here. Like since we add a tags or a hashtag in here, it's going to give us this option here. Like for example, if you want to trace, like for example, which notes you've added hashtags into, like if you click on it, it's going to give you the option. Like for example, in note one and note two, it's going to mention that sample is mentioned in our notes. Now, same thing, if you want to utilize the search functionality here, you could go ahead and just use the following options, a tag and a, a double, a colon and a pound sign and the sample uh, text here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and edit that and just go back in here. Now, from here, let's go back into the files section here. And from here, what we need to do is we want to next view or uh, add, uh, see what other things that we could do here. So at the top of our screen here, we ha also have the option to add new folders if you want to organize things further. And if you want to add a very specific, for example, we want to uh, create a new canvas, you could go ahead and do that. Or if you want to quickly create, like for example, you have a vote and that in that specific vote, that's where you uh, input your daily thoughts, daily notes for that day. So you could go ahead and click on this button. It's going to create that specific note with the current day to day. And you could go ahead and start taking your notes. Now for now, let's just click on delete. Now you also have the option to create canvas, like if you want to organize your thoughts in here. Like for example, I want to organize my thoughts here. I want to add note two and whatnot. And from here, you could go ahead and start add, add, add card, add note from both, add media from both, add web page if you want to if you want to have a visual representation about this one in your vault. So this one is really helpful, like if you want to have a visual representation on that specific note built, you could use canvas as well. Now if you want to view the overview graph on well, how your notes are actually interlinked. Well, you could go to the open graph view option here. So if you click on it, it's going to give you an option, the uh, current uh, setting that we have right now. So depending on how much notes they have right now and how much you utilize the linking options or the linking capabilities of Obsidian, it's going to expand itself further. But since we only have two notes here, it's not going to give us uh, further information about, uh, on it. But as you go on, as you progress, as you give add more notes here, it's going to be a lot more complex and you'll be able to have an overview of how links are actually in, uh, how notes are actually in their link with each other. But yeah, so those are the basics on using Obsidian and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.